today a review of the Roland Traveler bike trailer. Uh, you see I've been using it and abusing it uh, for about two years. Uh, not used it too much in the first year. Then started to do um, some more house renovations. Brought back, brought away a lot of metal, uh, bricks, stuff that I didn't need from uh, for example an old fireplace and what happened then at first was there was only one bolt here uh, I'm not sure which one it was, was this one originally? I think this one originally but there was a second bolt hole here but there was no hole here and uh, the point of this was to you can unscrew this screw it in here and then arm goes up so you can use it as a hand trailer in any case I went to bring a lot of stuff to recycling on a 10 kilometer ride on the way back suddenly the car uh, the, the trailer was scraping on the ground the bolt had broken and actually it's already it's a bit you can see it's bent the metal is bent um, in the new version of the Traveler there is a little change, you can see it here, There's a, it looks like a sort of quick release, it's hard to see on the video, uh, so let's see. I guess you can see it now here you see the little handle and I guess it's meant to use it to quickly change it from bike trailer to hand trailer in any case it's not very useful uh, because you need you just need more strength there uh, as a bike trailer I mean it's not very good it should be a lot better for the price the retail price the recommended retail price is 300 euros and I'll show you a few other issues. This is not really an issue. I, it, it, I just went through a corner too fast. But what I don't like about this trailer, uh, I don't really like this, that, that it is chrome plated. I mean, um, it would have been nicer if it was uh, powder coated. But I can't, for example, this doesn't fit anymore for some reason. Perhaps it's because of junk here at the sides. Uh, this never fits well, it was too short on the other side, the same. The size could be a bit smaller, a uh, bigger as well. Here it also doesn't fit very well. Size could be a bit bigger to, to, to uh, so you could put more stuff in it. I think this size is just a little too small, like 73 centimeters inside length, uh, width 49 height about 30 uh, could be especially a bit higher but also a bit of a bit longer and a bit wider um, then another issue you can see all the fun stuff that I've been transporting stones so this is anti-slip this is nice but this is one steel plate I don't like this there's no ridges or something to make the um, To make the to make it stiffer and so you don't hear this, this sound I don't like this when I'm riding across bumps etc here's an example of a brick for the for the size size indication it's okay but it could be bigger the cart um, so those were all the issues I think uh, for riding in the night you need some kind of light so I'm using this one clipped on here but that's all I think for price I don't think it's worth it you can buy much cheaper probably similar quality ones for a hundred euros or so from some no-name brand and it's probably just as good the issues that I've had especially with this not fitting are really annoying and of course the, the sound, I don't like it when you, when you hear the sounds when you go up and down bumps. Mm. 
And of course that's an issue as well, it's not strong enough for the loads that you may want to carry. And I didn't use it that many times, so one bolt is just not enough. All in all, not so impressed.